Again, welcome to DSRT734 class. In this lecture, we're going to discuss about data classification. That is the difference between qualitative and quantitative data. Also, the level of measurements of data. So again, this is unit one, part two lectures, data classification. So our objective, is to distinguish between qualitative data and also quantitative data. Also classify data with respect to the four level of measurements. So first, what is a qualitative data? We say a qualitative data consists of attributes, levels, or non-numerical entries. I'll use the most important term is the non-numerical entries. So example, a student's major is a qualitative data. Qualitative data are the data that we cannot do arithmetic operations, such as addition, subtraction, division, etc. So a student major computer science, we cannot say computer science plus biology or red plus blue. So a qualitative data is a non numerical entries, it can be a levels attributes. And we have a major and also place of bet or the eye color, blue, brown, etc. These are all qualitative data. Now a quantitative data is a numerical measurements or counts. So a quantitative data, we can do arithmetic operation on them. So a numerical measurements or counts. So example, give you his age. I can find the average age of students or customers. Weight of a letter. I can also find the weight of a letter. And I can again measure it by using a scale and also a temperature. So again, qualitative data is a non-numerical values or entries. Then Quantitative data is a numerical entries or measurement or counts. Most of the time, values can either be measured or counted. So in statistics, we use the term numerical measurements or counts for quantitative data. And one more time, qualitative data is a label or non-numerical entries. So let's see example here, classify the data by type. So here we want to know which data is a qualitative, which data is quantitative. Now we say qualitative is a labels, non-numerical values or entries. The correct term to use is entries. Then quantitative will be numerical values either by measurement or count. So a data set is given to us. We have the models of uh, different cars. And this is for Ford. And we have the base price for each model. So Ford Fusion 14S is 17,795. Uh, F-150 SL is 18,710. Uh, 500 SEL 23,785. The Ford Escape SLT Sport is 24575 And the list keep going till we reach Expedition SLT, which is 35480 So now we want to classify this data, what I say, quantitative and qualitative. So here we can say qualitative is non-numerical entries. So that will be the models of the car. Quantitative will be numerical entries. So that would be the base price of the cars. So let's go through. So here again, we can see the models, are qualitative data, names of a vehicle models are non-numerical entries. Then the base price is quantitative data because the base prices of vehicle models are numerical entries. We can find the average uh, price for all the Ford models, or we can know the price of two Fusion 14S 
And so that would be 17,795 times two or plus the same amount. So again, that's the difference qualitative and quantitative. Now let's go through the level of measurement. We have four level of measurement. The first one is the nominal level of measurement. Nominal level of measurement is the same as qualitative data. These are entries that are non-numerical. Sometimes we use the term categorical or nomina or categorical data. So such as names, labels, and qualities. The qualities can be high, medium, low, or then no mathematical computation can be made. As we said earlier, same as qualitative. We cannot apply mathematical operations. So that's the first nominal level of measurement. It's a qualitative data entry. Sometimes we use the term categorical data, such as names, labels, or qualities, true or false, yes or no, zip code, etc because these are all, no mathematical computation can be performed on a zip code. Now the next, it will be our ordinal level of measurement. Ordinal level of measurement is data that is arranged in order, or is put in order. Example will be a student's grade, A, B, C, D, F, or the baseball league, New York Yankee first, and uh, Boston second, J Toronto Jays and uh, third. So ordinary level of measurement, we said again, it's, it can be a qualitative or quantitative data. And qualitative can be, uh, let's say again, uh, New York Yankee first, uh, Boston second, or it can be quantitative that, okay, New York Yankee have 1,000 points and uh, Boston have 800 points. So it can be both qualitative and quantitative data, but it should be the main concern is ordinary. You have to be in order. Or student test score. One student got 897, another student have 80, another student have 70, which is C, B, and A. Now, the difference between data entries is not meaningful. So, uh, now classify data by level. So here they give us two data sets are shown. Which data set consists of data at nominal level? Which data set consists of data at ordinal level? So let's look at the first one. We have American Idol Tuesday, another American Idol Wednesday, Grace and anatomy, a house, and CSI. So by looking at this, these are the names of top five TV programs. So this will be again nominal data or nominal level. Now let's look at the other one, network affiliates in Pittsburgh. Uh, here we have WTAE, WBSI, KDK, and WBGH. Uh, actually, we can see that here we say the top five, the top five. So it's a nominal data, Don't, uh, it's a levels or names, but it's in order, top five, which means American Idol Tuesday is top one, American Idol Wednesday, top two. So this is an ordinary, it's in order. Network affiliates in Pittsburgh PA is not in order. So this is again nominal. So the first one again is a ordinal because it's there in order. America Idol Tuesdays is number one. America Idol on Wednesdays is number two. Let's say these are the top five TV programs that are viewed most, get most views. So let's see our answer. We have them. So we can see again, we say this is ordinary le uh, level. The reason why we can see it's in order, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, the top five. So ordinary, ordinary level leads the rank of five TV programs. Data can be ordered. Difference between ranks is 
not meaningful. I cannot say uh, one, the difference between one and two. Uh, there's no meaning on that. So again, top five TV program is in order. So it's ordinary level. Now on the network affiliates, there's no any order. They are just names. So this is nominal level. List the call letters of each network affiliate. Call letters are names of a network affiliate. Again, there's no any order in these names. So let's move to the third one, which is the level of measurement uh, number three, interval level of measurement. Interval will be a quantitative data. It have to be a value. There's no names. The data can be ordered or is unordered. It doesn't matter. But most important, there's no qualitative data here. The data have to be valued, so it's only quantitative data. Now, most important key here also is that the difference between the data entries is very meaningful. So this means we can make a arithmetic operation on, on it. I can find the difference between the temperature in New York City and in Chicago in the month of July. Zero represents a position on a scale, not an inherent zero. Zero does not imply none. So this means uh, let's say the balance of my bank account is not an interval level because an interval level, they say zero represents something. So if I said uh, my balance account is zero, it means I don't have no money, none. Or if the weight of a person is zero, that means the person doesn't exist, is zero, there's nothing. So which means weight and the balance in a bank account is not a interval level of measurement. Despite that, it's a quantitative data. But because the zero means nothing, here zero does not imply none. Zero means something. So a very good example here will be temperature. When a temperature is zero, it means it's very cold. And temperature also is a quantitative data. Temperature can be a date, we can put it in order. We have five cities with different temperature. We can put it in, in increasing order or decreasing order. Or we may decide not to put it in order. Then the next one is the ratio level of measurement. That's the last one. So the weight and my bank account balance is a ratio level of measurement. So this is similar to interval level, but zero entry is an inherent zero implies no. So if my weight is zero, it means I don't even exist. So that is a weight is a ratio. It's not interval. Interval means zero means something. So the ratio of two data values can be found, can be formed. One data value can be expressed as a multiple of another. So again, those are the four level of measurement. We have the nomina. Nomina means a qualitative data. It can be names, it can be levels. We cannot do arithmetic operation on it because it's just names and labels. And also sometimes we use the term categorical and it's a qualitative data. Then we move to the ordinary data. Ordinary data can be both qualitative and quantitative. But most important, the data have to be in order. Example would be cigarette smoking. We have a heavy smoker, medium smoker, a light smoker, and non-smoker. So they are in order. Then we move to the interval. Interval is the quantitative data. But the difference is that here interval means zero means something. So example would be a temperature. Also ratio is a quantitative data. By ratio, zero means nothing. So a weight of a person is a, is a ratio, it's a quantitative, but zero means I don't have anything. So let's go through this example. Classify data by level. Two data sets are shown. Which data set consists of data at the interval level? Which data set consists of data at ratio level? So let's, this data is a New York, Yankees World Series victories. 
in years. Then 2003, National League home run totals by team. So first thing I have to come to our mind is zero means something for interval. So 1900 or the year 00, it means, it doesn't mean there's no year. It means that very year. So here I will say that New York, New York Yankee World Series victories will be interval. Then National League home run total by team will be ratio because if Baltimore is zero, it means they didn't have no home run. It's not nothing. So let's look at the results. So that's what we have. The New York Yankees World Series victories by years is interval. Quantitative data, but can find a difference between two dates? No. Uh, can find a diff, but the ratio does not make sense. We can find a difference. And uh, one thing, forget to mention here is that interval, we can do addition and subtraction on it, but we can't do division or multiplication. But in ratio, that's why it's called ratio, we can do division, multiplication, any type of. Uh, then also in nominal, the only arithmetic operation we can perform is counting like finding the mode. Yeah. So here, again, it's interval. The reason why it's years. Zero, zero, zero means the year is, was zero, zero, zero. It doesn't mean that we don't have no year, so it's zero. So zero means something. Here, home runs. If a team have zero home runs, it means they don't have nothing, no home runs. So again, this is ratio. Ratio means zero is nothing. Interval zero means something. So the summary of the four level of measurement, we have the nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. This, we should put the data in categories. Yes, we can put this data, all of them in categories. So nominal can be put in categories. Yes, yes, yes. Then we can, can we arrange the data in order? In nominal, we cannot. Because I have red, yellow, blue. I can't say yellow come before red or red come before blue. But in uh, ordinal, yes, very much. Actually, that's the main concept, ordinal in, in order. So ordinal, we can have first, second, third, A, B, C, grid. Interval, yes. It can be any quantitative data. The height, two inches. Next is four inches. Next is seven inches. Ratio, yes. We can put students' weight in increasing order. Now, can we do a subtract data values with nominal and ordinal? We said we cannot do no any arithmetic operation, so there are no no. But interval, we can only do subtraction. And we can't do multiplication, division, etc. So, yes for both. But when you come to determine if one value is a multiple of another, it's ratio. Ratio is the only one we can do all the arithmetic operations. So this will be the conclusion of our lecture, unit one, part two. In this lecture, we discuss about classification of a data, what is quantitative, what is qualitative. Then we talk about the level of measurement, which is nominal, ordinal, interval, and then ratio. So see you in the next lectures. Thank you.